Hi, I hope you enjoy the behind the scenes of the photo shoot of Belle that I'm sharing with you today. Um, it was it was underneath this um, wooden thingy um, on these mosaics. We weren't allowed on the mosaics, so Belle had to sort of perch on the outside. And the lighting was fairly awkward because it was obviously bright outside, but dark on her face so it was quite tricky to retain the detail um, in Belle without the background getting too bright uh, but it but the viewpoint was good from here because we had the trees behind so it was, it was fairly awkward to find a spot um, that that made a clear shot We're shooting with the D3, the 24 to 85 mil lens. It's actually quite a nice shot. So we've got it's a bit tricky because we're not allowed on the mosaics. Where are we? Little Coat Little Roman, Roman Villa. Villa. We're at Little Coat Roman Villa. But we're not allowed on the mosaics. So we've stood Belle over there. We've moved her to the left so that we don't have the post right behind her so that she's against the greenery of the trees. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> right, this is a really, 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 really wide lens. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Promoting your channel. Eh? Promoting your channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Katie, do you reckon you could take a slightly lower view? Yeah. Emma, do you think that's distracting? Right. I got it. Do it one more time, mate. Okay. Right. Just take the lens off. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah comes into contact with visually the, the, the roof. Yeah. So I'm trying to get a viewpoint where that doesn't happen. Which is slightly challenging. So we might have to do that close somewhere else actually, where we don't have the beam. What do we do today? Oh, um, well, have you got any other Poses that you think are good there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, Katie? Yes. Can I just give you this and just swap for a minute? Yep. So, attention to detail is so key on a shoot like this. Um, it's, it's so frustrating afterwards when you look at the pictures if you've noticed that you know the the skirt wasn't quite right or you know there was a big bit of hair sticking up you know something that's not easy to edit out if you just get it right there and then just keep your eye on details things behind the subject that could be distracting what's in the corners of the image and just attention to detail with the model Yeah, looking up there. Yes, lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. Can you get your feet close together? Yeah, 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 like that. Okay. That's cool. I mean, it looks amazing. Let me show you that shot. It's quite nice because you have got the dark side here. Yeah. But you've still got the light coming from yeah. here. No. <laughs> Still happy with the arms. That. that. Yeah. Okay, do you want to try it again? Do yeah. Do you like the shot? Yeah, I like the shot. Yeah, it's cute. Let's try it again then. Yeah. It is a nice shot. Right, let's try better arms. Same shot. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh my feet. You okay? Yeah. It's really worth it for that shot. <laughs> 
so it's always a good idea to show your client the images on the back of the camera because they might spot things that you wouldn't necessarily think of like Belle is a real perfectionist with her craft so she really picked up on if her fingers and her hands didn't look quite right and this is something that as I say I as I'm not a dancer I wouldn't have noticed that so um, it's always a good idea to just show show people the pictures see if you're getting their best side see if there's anything they want to change and just discuss the shoot as you go along so also look at this from a lower viewpoint and how it improves the shot do you see you you get rid of a lot of untidiness behind and also the contrast of Bell's upper half against the roof I feel works quite well so a low viewpoint is always really good for, for elegance as well for that nice tall elegant look so and just move around as you're shooting so as you can see here um, just by moving round I think this tidies up the shot again you've got the green behind Belle and her legs just look slightly better positioned so it's always a good idea to get into place and then particularly in a spot like this where you've got a lot going on just move around and experiment with your viewpoint do you remember the scene off titanic where she's like hold this <laughs> do you remember that <laughs> I remember the Titanic. In the dancing, she said. Oh yes, yes, I remember. Yeah. Yes, Let me yes. see you, strong guy, do this. Oh! Yeah. Do you remember that? I do you remember just that? Just like it. Yeah. If you come over and just on that edge bit, because then we'd get the mosaic all around you. Okay. You're flexible. Come on, girl. You're a dancer. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe the other triangle. Right. I wonder if you think I can get under that? Like this. Oh, you're like that. And you're that. slimmer than me. Underneath. Oh, hang on, this is wider. Oh, she's doing it. Well done, mate. <laughs> right. I think I might have to. Right, for this shot, I'm going to go and get my 50 mil 1.4 prime lens. So it's been good to share all the imperfection, all the funny little bits. I hope I'm not in trouble with Belle for, for sharing the next uh, little dance. It, it's quite amusing at the beginning, but check out at the end. It's incredible. It was, Belle, it was amazing. Like, can you, can you wait in the times that you forget it? Are you able to improvise? I'll try, wait. Can I just run through it? Can you go slightly further away this time, only a little bit? Yeah. Are you good, Katie? Yep. Katie, can you stop that video and start a new one? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Thanks, love. Right. Tell me when you're ready. Ah, oh, I remember it now. One, two, three. I'm going to move this.